becoming a holiday tradition. It airs tonight on 2020, and Barbara's here with some of the highlights right now. You got the full tour. As always, you got, got the to see Bo. The White House with the star <laughs> of the White House, and that's not the president of the First Lady. You know who it is. It's Bo. It, it, right? it is Bo. But you did yeah. sit down with the president and cover a lot of the news of the day as well. We did. We we talked to the two of them, and you will see that they're very different when they're together. They're very funny and cute. But we also asked the president a very important question about the legalization of marijuana, because there are two states in which it is legal. Washington, Colorado. Right. Let's take a look. Do you think that marijuana should be legalized? I wouldn't go that far, but what I think is that at this point, Washington and Colorado, uh, you've seen the, the voters speak uh, on this issue. And as it is, you know, the federal government has a lot to do when it comes to criminal prosecutions. It does not make sense from a prioritization point of view for us to focus on recreational drug users in a state that uh, has already said that under state law that's legal. It's interesting. So the president doesn't want a conflict with the states on this, even though it's the attorney general's final decision. And I asked him about the fact that when he was younger, he smoked marijuana. And what does he tell his girls? <clears throat> and he says what a lot of parents say: "Don't make the mistakes that I made." <laughs> That's the only know? thing he yeah. can say. That's you it. also you also talked to the president about how he's uh, spending that little bit of spare time he has. And you see the two of them together, quarreling about Scrabble, no less. Take a look. <laughs> you have an iPad. I do. Yes. What's your favorite app? Scrabble. Oh, yes. Oh. Gosh, sometimes I want to yank that out of your hands. Uh, who wins? He's good at Scrabble. He's very irritating. She, too, she, doesn't, in his. she doesn't like losing, so she stops playing. No, I don't like losing to you because you're a little irritating <laughs> when you win. <laughs> He's a little cocky about his you know, the, the thing that's charming about this interview, which you will see tonight, is how different they are. You know, when you interview them alone, they're very serious people, as they should be. Together, she teases him, he teases her. That's a, a whole other look. But then what I found very touching, uh, I asked the president and first lady if they had a message for Bob, and, and indeed they did. Well, let's take a look. I want to make sure to send a big Christmas greeting to uh, Robin Roberts, uh, part of uh, your team, and who is just uh, such a wonderful person, uh, somebody that uh, we've you know, come to, to really love, and, and so we're just rooting for her and hope she's doing great and want her to know that uh, the whole Obama crew is, yeah. is thinking about her. Robin, we love you. We want, we want Robin to come back and keep doing great things. Amen to that. That yeah, is fantastic nice. right yeah. there. Now, I, and they weren't part of the interview, but you also got to, got to talk about Malia and Sasha as well. Well, Malia has gotten a cell phone, and the president <laughs> said, you know, one of the reasons I think that he says, one of the reasons I'm glad I was reelected is that I have the Secret Service to keep my eye on the girls, especially now that Malia is getting old enough for boys to be calling. And the whole business now used to have to call through the White House. Now she has her own cell phone. That is so, a big step. That, How yeah. old is Malia now? Is she 13 or 14? 14. 14. You know, and by the time this term finishes, she will be 18, ready for college, and certainly ready for dating. So, you know, they talk a little bit about the changes in, in their life. There are no ground rules about the cell phone, but Mrs. Obama says she never knows when I'm going to walk into her room <laughs> and see what she's texting. You know, parents are parents no matter no what. No question about it. We cannot wait to see all of it tonight. Thank you, Barbara, on 2020. Christmas at the White House at 10, 9 Central, right here on ABC.